Hi there, Renee Asia of Lowell, Massachusetts. It's been about a year since I left Twitter. I left in late May and I got a bad case of religious scruples from it. So I've been online and social media of some sort of presence since the early 90s. Since I was 13 years old, like with the old BBS systems that you would dial in. I've never had a problem. But then I was on Twitter for over a decade. No problem following, curating, make sure like I was not following any clickbait or any outrage accounts. And then around 20, late 2021 to 2022, things were ramping up. And Twitter was trying to like control it, but it was uncontrollable. Then Elon Musk took over. And my whole feed was just nuts. It was just bananas, as I would say bananas <laughs> um people who were once very decent ordinary people were no longer decent i call them like anti-woke hedonistic conservatives because they're not really like socially conservative they might spout things like we need more religion or we need more family values but their lifestyles do not mimic that behavior whatsoever and i just broke down I just broke down. Like, I couldn't beat the system. I couldn't, like, it's like, Renee, like, how do you beat Elon Musk? And, like, the, the nuttiness that was occurring. You know, people, like, say there's nuttiness on the left. There's just, I just left. And, like, most people, when they say they leave Twitter, they say they have a great feeling. I did not have a good feeling. I had a horrible feeling. A horrible feeling about like the people who were like left behind in that echo chamber it's scary that echo chamber is scary and those filter bubbles because you begin not trusting reality and you stay in your little tribe of an echo chamber somebody once said it was the cult of the anti-woke but he fell for the cult of the anti-woke himself that was kind of hurt i was sad and the <laughs> So I'm much better, but my son's high school was attacked by right-wing media. And it just shows you how silly right-wing media is. And my sadness, I know the school's going to be okay. But my sadness, and the, the scary part is, what if I was one of those individuals with that fake moral outrage going hysterical at the school? That scares me. That's where my religious scruples comes from. That Fear of like I could have gone so far anti-woke that literally the right-wing media has to make stuff up to get you angry. They make stuff up about, to get you angry. That's reality. And I could have been one of those people. Getting all mad at Dr. Hardiman. Oh no, he's such a nice guy. But that's what they make you do. And I feel sadness. For the people who become the flying monkeys. And it hurts. Because those are probably good, decent, ordinary people. Who just got caught up in this culture war. Love you all.